dying. That's for sure. Nothing I can do about it, though. So I should stop thinking about it. Try to think about something else. Shouldn't dwell on it so. Except how do you stop thinking about a thing like that? You could come at any time. This afternoon, perhaps. Say, quarter to five. <laughs> Damn flies. There's enough of them. They can't wait. Enough for everyone. <laughs> Damn! Nora! Don't forget to feed the horses. You hear me? Yesterday, she forgot to feed the horses. If the horses aren't fed, they will die. They don't know any better. They're just animals. If I weren't here to tell her, she'd always forget, or she wouldn't bother. Every day, I must tell her, Carla, don't forget to feed the horses. When I die, they will die. It's as simple as that. Black bastard. <laughs> Hopeless. Be so hard on Carla. After all, she's a little more than a child. Well, not a child. Certainly isn't a child. Anyone can see that. But she hasn't the experience. Perhaps I shouldn't say that. I don't know what happens late at night when I'm asleep. Some days I don't know what goes on when I'm not sleeping. When I'm awake. They don't tell me very much anymore. I'm only 69. I saw her down in the garden. She was digging in the garden, planting bulbs. E even from the window, I could, I could see down her blouse. Lucky to still have my eyes. Some men my age are blind. <laughs>
hope I don't come back as a fly. <laughs> <laughs> that would be terrible. Living off the dead. Carla! Perhaps she can't hear me, but maybe she pretends who's to say. Carla! After she finished planting the bulbs, she lifted her skirt and pissed on the ground. She didn't squat like most women. She stood upright like a man would. She arched her back slightly and her breasts were pushing out against her blouse. I'm surprised the buttons didn't pop. Her piss went High in the air. <laughs> Any man would have been impressed. <laughs> then she let down her skirt, which was too bad. <laughs> I, I should have said, that's not the way you make things grow. <laughs> but I enjoyed watching her piss too much. Now I keep looking to see if she'll do it again. So far she hasn't. <laughs> Not that I've noticed. Although I'm sure I see everything. Damn. Last night, my mother came to see me in a dream. She was wearing an old army coat with buttons that were much too... She had it wrapped around herself like a blanket. She was also wearing my father's boots. But they didn't have laces. The laces were missing. Where are the laces? I said to her. <laughs> Father will be very upset if you've lost the laces. She didn't say anything. Just stood there for a few minutes, staring at me with her sad gray eyes. And... Until she opened the army coat, hanging around her neck from the laces of father's boots. There was a skinned rabbit. It hung down between her shriveled breasts. Other than that, she was naked. I woke up in a terrible sweat, as you can imagine. She's in the garden. Down this way! No, nothing except the rain and the mud and.
I can easily imagine it though. She moves slowly, gracefully on her long legs. She's, she's forgotten to button her blouse. Maybe she didn't forget. Maybe she did it on purpose. But it's open. And that's what counts. Unless... <laughs> unless she's just come from being with someone. I don't think that. You're 69 and you'll soon be dead. No <laughs> point thinking about who she's been with. And, unless it was the Americans. <laughs> she wouldn't do that. Not Carla. Her breasts were white and creamy. And now in the rain they glistened and shine in the dull gray light. Lifts up her skirt slowly. She's wearing long black stockings that just go up well above her knee. Above that, she wears nothing. But her skin is so pale, it seems to glow there in the garden. Don't piss there, mm -hmm. I almost say. That's not the way to make things grow. But I don't. Instead, I watch her. I examine her mound. Droplets of rain are caught in her hair and they glisten in the dull gray light. Her piss arches high in the air. the Americans. <laughs> Every night she comes up to see me. I beg her to loosen her blouse. I beg her to crawl around on all fours like a dog so I can stare at her ass and remember the Octobers of long ago when I was young, when everything worked, when the ticking of the clock was so soft you had to concentrate just to hear it. But she never does. She feeds me my oatmeal without saying a word. I try to make jokes. You made a mistake? I say, this, this is for horses. That, that is food for animals. And she laughs. Sometimes. And then she leaves. <laughs> I beg her not to. I beg her to stay or to loosen her blouse and just let me touch her for a moment. But she never does. Perhaps it's because I keep my teeth in my pocket now. <laughs> she goes away. She's probably fucking the Americans. Time it is. The 
Carla, what time is it? Thank <laughs> you. 